And keeping in the vein of, you know, optimism and, and believing there's a higher good, you have a message, I believe, that you've said that if someone is estranged from their parents, that they should, while they're still alive, make attempts to reconcile, that you feel that that's very important. Absolutely. Um, I, I don't know if I would be sitting here today had it not been for the discovery of that storage locker. Um, imagine, what are the odds of finding um, all of this personal information about your parent, including 60 hours of contemporaneous audio diary starting from before you were born right up until the time that parent who you were with whom you were estranged commits suicide. And it gave me an extraordinary opportunity to meet my father before he became my father as well as after and to meet him as a man rather than as a, a two-dimensional authoritarian figure that I remember from childhood. So it allowed me this unprecedented opportunity to reconcile and, and to make peace with, with my, my father. And it was such an extraordinary and unusual um, situation that it certainly uh, uh, made me grow spiritually to, to a great extent. Um, but to your point, um, knowing how rare this opportunity is, I go around telling people whether they want to hear it or not, if you have an issue with either one of your parents, make peace with them while you can because you won't find a storage locker filled with audio tape like I did.